Dad says you're not controlling rebounds. So you're probably standing up too much. You're not in the stance because you're growing. So we're going to work on making sure you're staying in the stance. You can't just build it. stood straight up. That's why you're probably not controlling your rebounds because you're standing up because you're growing. Your stance is all over the place. Butt down, chest up. <clears throat> Hands are good. And when you turn and pivot, you turn and pivot, you push, you move, everything stays in a stance.
push up. One push up. Stay on the top as much as possible. Chest up. Relax, 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 relax. Trying to talk you back into a stance. This is in the stance. Let's get ready to take off. Butt down. Chest behind the knee roll. Hands forward. Go. Stop with this. Your knees aren't bent. You want to bend your knees. Bend your knees. 
you guys stand your stand. Do the same way on this side. Right side, far side, far side. Go. That's it. There you go. Now, as long as you have your kneecap bent and it's lined up to your toe depth, you can control more rebounds than not. When you start to stand up, as you start to grow, which is great because you're growing, but it's bad because you're growing so fast. The more you stand straight up and the more your knees aren't bent, the more likely it is that rebounds are going to go everywhere. Understand? Go. Okay. 
throws. This is another reason why I don't like having my glove down on my chest down. As soon as your glove goes down, your eyes usually go down. Just the way it is. I don't know why. There's nothing really hand-eye coordination. So what happens with this, the more you go torso to your pad, your glove's pointed down here. By the time I say go, you have to recognize the shot where it's coming by lifting up and then going as opposed to just doing this. You're already moving. You don't have to change your eye level. It's already in the spot where the puck's going to be. You keep on skating in my body on the shots. Right to the puck. Eyes up.
trying to get a couple of guys to uh, come out to the board because all these people really need to do too much. Okay. We start to do that so that they help them out. I think you're going to be at 6 on Thursdays. So we call for that. It's like probably the second week of March, like 7th or 13th, whatever that is. Is that what it's taking you up on Thursday? Is that what it's taking you up? What did you say? I don't know. What did you What's say? It? Lost the tap. Are you lost in Catholic school, Coach? Yeah. Yeah, but it's not, they're not getting, as soon as the season's done, I get the ice back. I get it from September until November 15th, and then once they get on the ice, they have it until mid-March, and I get it back. Uh, so I'm getting at least it. Thir at least Thursdays at 6 aren't that bad. What? Thursdays at 6 aren't Oh, that yeah, bad. way better than 5. So Let's go. What was the range of that, 4.30? 5.30. Right there, puck, push down your short side post and you lead out with your left leg. Alright. Chest back. Butt down. Go. Short side post. Skates. Go. Five eight on skates. I am You're taller than me on skates. I am five eight on skates. 
And if you're not, you're pretty close. I have a mic that uses a tone of vibrant paddle. He's 5'1. Can you see where your tune goes? You're huge. That's good. Now we have to control it. Go. Go. Push, push. You're bringing your stick into your paddle, so you're not being able to move. You've got to be able to move away from that. Balance yourself out and push to that post. Push. Good, go. Two left, two right, one both. Go. 